The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Welcome to another Quiroz 101, our regular series of short presentations, giving you hints and tips for getting the most out of QuoteWorks. And in this session, I'm going to cover easy field customization to help you track the information that's important to you about your quotes and your products that you're sending out to your customers. So hello, my name is Tim Wilmot and my company, Wizard Systems. We are a specialist CRM system supplier who help out small and mid-sized organizations improve their sales productivity, marketing and customer service through the use of simple and affordable solutions like QuoteWorks. This presentation will be about 10 minutes or so in duration, just an overview of how you can customize QuoteWorks, tailor it to your requirements, not meant to be in-depth training. And my company, Wizard Systems, we offer lots of training options if you want to explore those with us to help you get the most out of QuoteWorks. Now, the audio part of this presentation is one way only. If you've got a question, please type that into the question box on your meeting control panel. I'll do my best to answer those at the end. And also at the end, I'll give you an update on some QuoteWorks product news for you to keep you in the loop. And this session is being recorded. Those listening live, you will get um, a link to the uh, recording uh, sent by email after the session. And you can play that back whenever you want to. And it will most likely be up on our YouTube channel where you'll find loads of other QuoteWorks videos as well. OK, so let's get started. Just a brief mention about Wizard Systems. As I say, we're a leading supplier of CRM solutions and we offer the complete service around QuoteWorks. We provide the product, QuoteWorks upgrades, integrations to different applications, implementation, training. Training can be online, it can be your place, our place. Uh, obviously, um, right now, October 2020, it's predominantly online and ongoing support as well. If you get stuck, you can phone our permanently manned telephone help desk and we will try and assist you as best we can. OK, so let's dive into QuoteWorks then and custom fields. So the first area that you can change in QuoteWorks is the main information about your quotation. As you know, you've got these uh, six tabs here at the top on the on your main worksheet where you where, it, where it's sort of the, the workflow of doing a quotation and one of those is called custom. This custom screen here does display a number of different types of fields. There's text fields, um, there's date fields as well down here, there's numeric fields, and there are notes fields or memo fields. By default. QuoteWorks has given it a fairly bland label name for all these fields, but you can, as an administrator, you can hold down your control key on your keyboard and double uh, left click mouse button, and that will bring up a little dialog box allowing you to change the label name. So I can change this to install date, for example, so that that will become clear to anyone that's using uh, QuoteWorks that that is, that is an installation date. And in there, you'll have um, a standard sort of calendar type field. Now that change, it's important to note that deep down in the QuoteWorks system, it's still known as custom date 01. There it is there, grayed out. So if you are creating any uh, quote layouts or quote reports, or you're integrating with another application, then that is still known that that's in the quote headers table of QuoteWorks and it's still known at deep down the system as custom date 01. But all of us using QuoteWorks on a day by day basis, we can see it as install date. And you can do the same with any of those other fields there on that custom tab of the quote. Related to that, are some custom fields relating to your product. So if I click on the products icon there and go to my products listing, and if I uh, double click on any of these products to edit that product, I too have a custom tab, 
again, a similar thing. You've got a combination there of mainly text fields. They're all numbered by default there. And there's a couple of date fields and a couple of, or a few numeric fields there. Again, the same thing is true. Um, you just, to, to actually change these fields, you just hold down the control key, double left click and change the, whatever the uh, uh, category is or the, the field name to that entry, but still deep down in the system, it's known as custom tag 01 within the product table. So there we are, easy customization of your main quote information and individual line items that go on the quote. Now, we can go a little bit further than this. These tabs here can also be customized. So I can, if I don't like um, the sold to, ship to tab, for example, I can hold down the my control key again and double left click, and that will allow me to change that name to whatever I want to. Um, so let's say, call it uh, customer, for example, um, and that would change that. We can also change these labels here within that tab. So if I don't like bill to, for example, I prefer the word invoice, I can change that to invoice. Typically, I guess you might do these things when you're setting up a new quote word system, just to make sure um, the, the terminology is, is, is right for your particular location or your company. Now, the other thing that you can customize on the document items tab are these column headings here. This is pretty much the default layout of these columns. You, of course, can change all these. Th these columns that we see here are for your eyes only. They are not necessarily columns or information that will go on the quote to the customer. But any of these you can change as well. You can go to your view menu, go down to customize columns and select the one that you, you want um, to, to uh, change there and just double click on that. And you can change the column heading of that particular element if you didn't like the, the terminology that QuoWorks gives you. So there we are, easy customization of quote works, the fields. There are loads and loads of other areas that you can customize in quote works. This is just, in this session, we've just covered a very simple way of customizing the main information about your quotes, the quote header details, and then the individual items within the, with, within the your product files, and also some of the some of the elements of the interface as well, just to make it more um, friendly and comfortable and appropriate to your, your type of organization. So as we normally do, if you've got any questions around this before I just give you a quick update on some QuoteWorks product news for you, um, just pop your questions into the question section. Uh, right, question from Harrison. Can you have different field names by user? Uh, no, you can't. The changes I, it's global. So the changes I was doing, everyone is gonna see that. Only administrator can do those. Um, so you have to get the consensus of your user if you're changing them uh, to make sure everyone's happy with the, with the field names that you, you give um, in the custom section. But no, they, they've gotta be the same for everyone. Uh, Leslie, can you change the menus? Uh, yeah, all the drop, well, the drop down menus, yes, they can be changed. And also you can insert your own custom menu options. If for example, you wanted to, this is outside the scope of e the, these easy uh, field changes, but yes, you can insert your own menu options to maybe call or launch another application, or maybe a routine um, via a script. Wizard Systems can you help you here if you don't have those skills, but yes, you can. Um, you can actually develop different menus for different users as well. So that's on the menus. 
Right, don't think there's any more questions coming through. Uh, so, latest news, um, all our training is online right now. Uh, this is October 2020. Uh, so if you've got any requirements for any kind of QuoteWorks training or consultancy, give Wizard Systems a call and we can let you know what kind of level of help we can give you. The latest build or latest version of QuoteWorks is version 5.5. Then within the version, we've got these different builds. Latest build is 6.06, .06, which, which came out late September. Just go up to QuoteWorks.com and click on support and updates. You'll get a full uh, listing of what's in that release. To get upgrades, updates to QuoteWorks, the only way of getting that is with an annual upgrade maintenance program. This allows you to get all of your updates to Quoas. There are several through the year, and you can get this from Wizard Systems. As always, if you've got any suggestions for any future Quoas topics that you think would be of interest to other Quoas users, just drop me a line. Uh, my name is Tim Wilmot. Email tim at wizard-systems.com. Uh, go to our YouTube channel, Wizard Systems. There you'll see loads of other quote works and CRM videos, hundreds in fact, and we'll catch up with you same time next week for another quote works topic. Thanks very much indeed. Bye-bye.